welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Bianca. I'm doing another weekly vlog because you guys seem to really like it last week. So we're just gonna do a whole week of my life. Like why not, you know? I didn't vlog this weekend, so I have a few things to update you guys on. That like happened this past weekend, but I just got back from my workout at Orange Theory. Hell week is literally kicking my ass, so we love that. And now I need to make a smoothie for sure. I burned like 626 calories. It was like it was pretty crazy in there, so. Welcome back to the Adam Too Much podcast. I spent the last like 30 minutes or so shooting for a brand there's two instagram pictures and one instagram story so i'm gonna kind of like brainstorm what i'm gonna do for the story now and then the other post i'm doing i'm gonna have to take in a couple of days i finally booked my tickets for my bachelorette party so yeah I'm like last minute with a lot of things um i'm gonna make lunch now because I'm starting to get very, very hungry. And, oh, I need to update you guys on all the new things in the apartment. Hold on, let me clear off the countertop because it'll look better. Okay, first thing I had to show you guys was I picked up two new things at Trader Joe's and I went this past weekend, but I didn't vlog this weekend. So I got the garden vegetable soup, which I'm gonna have some for lunch today. And then there's no organizer or anything beneath these. They're just like set out in a row. Um, but I also picked up this new seasoning, if I can get it out. Um, it's a Trader Joe's Everything But The Leftovers. Basically, it says, like, if you use this, it'll taste like Thanksgiving, so. I thought Colin would like cooking with that, so I got that for him. But yeah, this is our spice drawer. There's really no organization to it. They're just all kind of placed in there. And then, also, this vase is new. So I got this vase from Michaels actually. It was also 20% off, but originally it was only $15. And then I got some pretty white roses from Trader Joe's. And then also over here, I kind of have like a little workstation set up, but I got this smaller one from Michaels as well. And then I just cut them and made them into like little smaller things because I ended up buying two. I posted this really, really cute Instagram picture and I needed two to make the flowers look very, very full. So I ended up getting two things of flowers, but it was totally worth it. And so that's pretty much the updates I think of the new stuff that happened. If I like remember anything else, I'll definitely let you know. But I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna cook or put together some lunch. FaceTiming with Haven. Oh, I think I have an ear infection. Oh no. And I made lunch. She's been shaking her ears a lot and like scratching. Oh, poor girl. Jetty! Oh, we miss you. Hi, Jetpack. Hey, Jetty girl. Oh, she's such a cutie. We miss her so much. Guys, I just changed and then went downstairs because I thought our HelloFresh box came and it didn't. It's my chairs. shocked right now let I oh my god oh my god so real quick before somebody asked my sweatshirt that I was wearing before this or my sweater I mean is from White Fox Boutique they have good sweaters and then I just changed into this Rulu long sleeve crop top from Lulu it's a couple years old but they always make something similar every year so I will just link something similar but it is from Lulu also before I get excited about the chairs Mio sent me something 
Oh wow, Neo skincare. Ooh, Golden Hour Body Moisturizer. This is the kind of PR packages I love. Look at that. I've created this exclusive offer code for 20% off for you and your followers. Oh my gosh, Bianca XX20. That's cute. So if you want to try out code Bianca XX20, I'm super excited to try out too. Ooh, sun drenched body wash. So this is an AHA resurfacing body serum. I'm impressed. I don't usually get this excited over PR packages, but this one has me excited. I'm so excited about these. Wow, that made my day. Actually, a lot of things made my day. And not gonna lie, like a little bit earlier today, I was getting really stressed out because of like the bachelorette party and um, wedding planning and stuff. Like it's just a lot happening. And I'm like super thankful and super grateful that all of these things are happening, especially with like the given circumstances. But it is just stressful because I, it is just stressful. It would be stressful even if there wasn't a pandemic. So yeah, not to bring up that conversation again, but anyways, I was just feeling a little bit down earlier and stressed out. Um, my FaceTime with Haven helped a lot. We literally talked for like an hour and being also, I think I was down because being in a long distance friendship with like Haven and Lauren and Sarah Ellen and like, I want to have genuine like face to face conversations with them. I don't want to just like talk to them virtually all the time. So it's just very hard to be in a long distance friendship, especially with like your three bestie friends, you know, from school. But anyway. Just saying. I'm very thankful for the friends that I have here that like Wesley Ann and Kara and Maddie and all those girls. And it's just like hard when half of your like friend group isn't around and like you were, you went four years being with them all the time to like never seeing them really anymore. It's just like a lot. And I just miss them so much and I'm so excited to see them. So anyway, I'm gonna put this on my Instagram story and then we're gonna open up the chairs. That was just a rant on how being in a long distance friendship is, it just hurts the heart sometimes. All right, holy shit. I forgot to format my camera this morning. It's just gonna complete, I think we need to move the couch over more. Or what do you think? It's just really gonna complete the living room. They actually could scoot back a little bit. I'm trying to just figure it out. They're a little big, <laughs> but they're perfect. We love them. I don't love that coffee table, but I mean, it is cute. Just needs some work. Okay, so above here, just to get into the home decor, we're gonna not decorate it until after the wedding and do black and white pictures of Colin and I from the wedding. Um, so that'll be cute, but I just love the chairs. I'm gonna go take the boxes out so that they aren't like an eyesore in the back and then we'll look at them some more. Okay, here we go. Ideally, I wanted to put a table in between them, like a little side table. I just need to put my computer down. <laughs> I don't know if that'll fit, really. But I think that it really completes the space. Like if you look at it from this side, like from way back here, like, doesn't it look complete? Once we get stuff up on the walls, it'll look better. 
I have just been working on putting together my Sephora favorites for you guys, like skincare and makeup, because I think starting the 30th for Rogue members and then maybe like November 5th for other people. I think November 3rd is VIB and then November 5th is the like beauty insider which everyone can be i'm proud to say i'm rogue <laughs> but um yeah anyway you get 20 percent off if you're rogue 15 percent off if you're vib and then 10 percent off if you are um an insider i don't know why i couldn't remember the last one when sephora does discounts i always like hop on it because obviously you get your favorite things discounted so I figured I would share my favorite skincare and makeup products with you guys so I'm just creating those um, kind of like graphics now can you tell what I'm doing I'm just like putting all the products there so um, I just did the, the um, skincare ones and I'm downloading it to my computer and then I'm going to share it to my phone and then I am gonna sit here and do the makeup ones and then be done working for the day. And I'm gonna try and take a break here um, once I'm done with the makeup one and uh, just have some me time. I like to unwind, kind of like be done with social media, be done with work and read. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, oh, I need to go get the HelloFresh box. I'm like very, very tired. I feel like I need a walk. And I don't have, I haven't had coffee. Um, oh, that was, that's just a lie. I definitely went to Starbucks this past weekend. Um, I haven't had like my own iced coffee in the apartment um, for like a while and I really miss it. So I feel like I need to go run to Whole Foods probably like Thursday or something um, and get some more coffee. And this is my real hair, by the way. My real hair is literally getting so long. It's like past my shoulders, which is exciting because it used to be to here because of how damaged it was from dyeing it blonde, which is another reason why I'm going back brunette. Like those are extensions. But yeah, anyway, my real hair. I just really like my bangs never grow. It's been like my always my trouble spot of like getting my bangs to grow, even when my hair was like not dyed or anything I just always had bangs like before I ever dyed my hair I always would have bangs I mean they've gotten pretty long like they used to be to here so that's pretty good but I just want them all to be I want, yeah, all in length would be great but we always want what we can't have right we just you just are never satisfied with what God gave you you always want more and that's a problem our society has if you ask me so I told myself that my New Year's resolution for 2021 was to love what I was blessed with. And I wasn't adapting my resolution right there. It's not 2021 yet, but I wasn't really, um, I wasn't, I was not practicing what I'm trying to preach to myself. So I'll work on that. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up and then maybe I should just go get the hell first. Also, I wanted to show you guys because I got this new hand wash for the bathroom um, from the Magnolia Home Section in Target and it literally smells so good. So it's number two hand wash. Um, if you go to Target and you want a new hand wash, definitely pick that one up because she's a good one. I can have it linked below for you guys too because honestly shopping at Target is really fun and apparently their shipping is super quick. I don't usually shop online at Target, but I should. I really want to buy like that not... Thing from Target, but it's also on our wedding registry, so we'll see. I'm gonna go run and get the Hello Fresh box now. Okay, so tonight we're eating chicken and uh, poblano fajitas. I'm gonna appetize with some black bean dip. I also just poured myself a liquid IV, one of the energy ones, because I'm fading. And I got all my work done, and it's 6:12, so I'm just gonna eat a few chips and then go over there and read my book until I start cooking at seven. He's home. Grand reveal of the chairs. You're gonna have to tell me what you think, okay? okay. An honest opinion. 
I left the tags on. A lot bigger than I thought they were. Me too. That's my house. I mean, oh. They seem like really wide. Yeah. Almost feel like two of them is too much. Well, one can go in my office. Mm -hmm. I feel like one would be better unless we have like company over there. We could just bring it out here. Yeah. Just because, you know, like, I don't know. Well, do you want to sit in it? Sure. <sighs> Not bad, right? No, it's not bad. It's pretty relaxing. I like it. Well, yeah, one could really go in the corner of my office. Mm -hmm. oh. So, so we can keep them. Yeah, we can keep them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Here's how dinner turned out. So yum. Colin hasn't been home in days, so I'm gonna pick up with the vlog tomorrow so I can spend quality time, which is a key to a successful relationship. Phones down, computers down, electronics down. You time, genuine conversations, genuine focus, paying attention, thought. Serious, if you want a very successful relationship, take the time to actually spend time with each other. Right? Mm -hmm. We preach it on the podcast, which I've officially decided our new update upload dates, Friday. I think that that'll work better for all, all of us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just gotta keep changing things until you figure out a good system. We're still kinda new to the podcast thing, even though it's been a while, <laughs> almost a year. Anyway, I'm switching the date to Friday because it just will work so much better for everybody. And not that many people upload on Fridays, so it'll give you like more content, you know? So we're switching it to Friday. End of discussion. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. So I got ready, Colin's still sleeping. He's like sleep deprived from this past weekend. But I'm gonna go to the gym downstairs and do a Peloton. This morning I got ready listening to the What We Said podcast about scary stories and one of them, seriously, I was like, oh my God, I was like shook. I'm still listening to it, but yeah, I just have, I'm about to put this shirt on. I got it from Lululemon. It's usually not a crop top. But I say this all the time, but if you're new here, if you get like a shirt from Lulu that's longer and you want it cropped, all you have to do is go in and ask them to hem it because they hem stuff for free. And that's what I did with this and my EB to street tank tops. And so now they're like more cropped because my torso is so short. I don't know how many to just tell you guys that in every vlog. But um, yeah, it's a good hack. Or if you get someone something from Lululemon for Christmas but you really wanted it to be cropped because they like crop tops and stuff like that, just go and buy it and then ask them to crop it and like I guess make your best guess on yourself of like what it would be cropped on them. Um, like maybe you could try it on. But yeah. And then it just hits like right above my leggings. And lately I've been wearing my Whitney Simmons leggings because I haven't done any laundry and I forgot how much I liked them. All my set active is dirty and these are these are so good. So all right to the gym we go. Gym all to myself again. Today I'm doing um, the 30 minute XOXO Cody ride. Looks like that and then if you missed it my username is Bianca XX Franco to keep it easy for you guys. We're gonna do a peloton ride, lift some shoulders and back, and then yoga, and I'm gonna be good.
guys saw was me doing my workout, but now. All right, I had to speedy quick get ready because I took my sweet time working out this morning. Um, but right now I'm on my way to meet Wesley Ann. Um, if you guys don't know, the boutique Vestique um, has a full-time position with like, social media and um, marketing and things like that. She's um, killing it right now. But anyways, I'm meeting them at, or I'm meeting her at Vestique's Charlotte location, which the inside of this place is so cute. A couple, or it was like a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, lots of weeks ago, in a vlog, I went to the Blakeney location. Um which is in Ballantyne, like near Ray Road. I really need um, lipstick. But anyways, I went to that location and then now I'm going to the Charlotte location because she goes back and forth at both. So yeah, my lip combo, I get the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria lipstick and the Iconic Nude Lip Liner. This is like the combo I wear all the time. It's so perfect for fall. So if you want a discount. I would, I would get that. Anyway, I'm on the way there. We're gonna shoot some outfits and go to Optimus Hall, which is like one of our favorite places in Charlotte. It's like a food hall. Um, and I go there all the time, actually. Well, I haven't been since COVID, I think. But, oh yeah, I haven't been since COVID, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we're going there to shoot outfits. And she asked me to come along and I was like, yes, love to. told me to put this shirt on, so I put it on. <laughs> I'm your boss right, now? But yeah. If you didn't know, I'm being recruited. Okay. <laughs> we have a lipstick moment. <laughs> I forgot to put lip liner on this morning, so. Okay. Okay, my plan is, yeah, there's some cool spots, two of which are outside, so okay. like, the stairs and then out in the little seating area mm -hmm. I think it's cool and then I want to go inside to like this like back hallway area where it has really good lighting and it's like white walls and it's just very aesthetic sounds good so I'm that's my game plan right. and then okay I'm gonna take all of our outfits and stuff them in this in my purse oh, okay we'll see how that works I should have brought a big bag oh my god these people pulled like idiots don't you hate that <sighs> people in North Carolina don't know how to drive it's like pretty like, packed not, I can't <laughs> Ellie, she's skinny. Okay. Oh, you left me so much room. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I I'm, I'm so sacrificial. I'm like, my door's open completely wide. <laughs> We're getting coffee. Wrap. <laughs> that is a wrap, ladies. Cute fall arrivals cute set that I wore. Um, if you want to shop our outfits, you can go to Vestique. Follow up on Vestique Charlotte and Instagram. We're always posting stuff. They got the cutest things. Look at how cute this set is. So, whole outfit. Whole fit. It's a look. Um, on Kings Road and Queens Road, guys, I was driving on Queens when I got here. Hold on. Just look at this house really quick, though. There's the nicest houses in Charlotte. Like literally so nice. You're fine. I think they maybe not. I thought they just I am out. blown away. I feel like one vlog I should just take you guys around Charlotte and show you like all the big houses and the pretty roads and stuff, but things like with quarantine kinda slowed us down with what we were doing here. But we the, still have to do our our other oh, our, our ideas that we can't tell you guys about. Yeah. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. <laughs> anyway, there's just like so many I guess we live like thirty ish minutes from here. 20 something ish 25 ish um if there's no traffic but um towards the city on like queens and kings south queens no queens road west huge houses mm -hmm. so nice i would love to tour all of them but also there's this um building contracting company in charlotte called pike properties yeah it's good it's have really you good. yeah 
um we were just talking about kid cashew but anyways there's just like a ton of exploring in charlotte to do and we just haven't even done it on the vlog and i feel kind of bad about it there's my phone <laughs> okay i made it home colin and i are making orange chicken and jasmine rice from trader joe's for lunch because that is seriously the best trader joe's combo to this date colin and i were just talking about it it's our actual favorite oh i should take off the um tags from the chairs anyways so we're doing that and then i pretty much spent my whole like morning working out and then going to festique so now i need to get a ton of computer work done so that's the plan but if you haven't bought the orange chicken and the jasmine rice from trader joe's yet you have to get in your car right now and go buy it you're welcome if you're new here here's what the orange chicken looks like and the hunger games is on in the background so i bought some shelves like we've been talking about from Amazon, they're right here. They're just plain white floating shelves. I'll have them linked on my storefront under home decor. Um, also, the shelves in the bathroom or the um, shower right there are also um, on my storefront under home decor. So we're gonna hang those. And I also got us a squeegee for the shower. It was like really inexpensive and it's really nice. I'm shocked. Did it, did it come with anything to put in the wall or? Yeah, I'll look for right here. Oh, okay. And then I'm just gonna hang it. I'll probably hang it right there. Look, perfect. Can you see it? Um, can you look it up? The squeegee. I'm just gonna oh, oh, I'm going to go. Yeah. So uh, don't buy those shelves because they suck. And the like shelves don't come with the like correct screws to put them into drywall. It says they want you to put them into concrete. That makes no sense to me. And that's nowhere on the Amazon listing that it's listed as until the very bottom. It says you need to get screws for drywall from, from a professional dealer. Like that's literally the words it says. I'm bl blown away. Don't buy these. So Colin just ended up hanging them up like that and I know that that looks just so tacky so I guess we're gonna figure it out or maybe I could paint the screws white I have white paint that might be smart and just hang it up that way because I don't feel like going to sell it back because it was or ship it back I mean because it was pretty inexpensive but I also don't feel like tracking down a professional screw dealer it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard morning Okay, something's wrong with our air conditioner. Um, we turn it down. I feel like the air is not running. And then I got up on a step stool yesterday and I like fell to the vent and there is air coming out. But it doesn't, like it's so hot in here and it's so humid in here. And I turn the air down and like nothing happens. Like there's no temperature change, nothing. So I think we need to call the maintenance people but they said they'd only come because of COVID if your air conditioning wasn't working and it's hotter than 85 out and it's not. So that's blows but it's just like so muggy in here and the air does not change and i don't know what to do about it so i'm like going to orange theory today and tomorrow and then taking friday off and going to um the gym here so i'm gonna go do that and then we have a busy day today for sure yesterday was busy too but today is like really busy so just filmed my skincare routine um i've done a lot this morning also we finally hung at the shelves my uh, foam rollers right here because i was using that as my tripod but the shelves are up we ended up painting those underneath white and then here is what they look like here i'll back up ignore the foam roller but yeah anyway i'm doing a reel of my skincare for my instagram plus filming my skincare for my youtube channel so that just took me like a little bit longer than usual but it's okay my skincare is done i like simply want to cut my hair short so it'll look cute and clutched <laughs> like what is this um we're snacking on a muffin while our orange chicken cooks because we're having it again oops because um i need to go to the grocery store my clip's falling off my head and i'm trying to make a reel I forgot to show you guys my outfit before I left, so I'll show you guys when I get home. But this vest is from when I was preppy in high school. I used to wear Lily. I used to shop at J. Crew. I used to pride myself on the prep, which is crazy because back then I could have been shopping at Forever 21 and spending less, way less, on my clothes. And instead, I said, I'm going to be preppy and 
I'm gonna. I feel like I manifested this back before I knew like what manifestation was. Can I just tell you? Because I said I'm gonna dress really nice and I'm gonna like, get the best dress senior superlative, and I did. That was like all that mattered to me back in the world. It's like very embarrassing. I like look back and like ew. Um, excuse me. Okay. Anyway, so I'm on my way right now. Oh wait, hold on. No, I got sidetracked. Sorry. I brought this vest back out because I've been wanting a black vest and then I realized last time I was at my mom's house because there's still a lot of clothes in my old closet from high school um, and I realized that this vest is one amongst all of the old preppy clothes and I actually have a few more colors too but I just wanted the black one. Um, and I'm like, okay, it's cute. I really, in my head, was envisioning like a more sporty look, like maybe like a Lululemon Nike type vest, you know? But, um, I don't know, it's like thin, it's like, I can't, I'm having a hard time with the gold zipper. Kinda wish it was just black. But, um, yeah, for now, it'll do the trick. So, anyway. This, this, Part of my outfit i'm just wearing shorts and tennis shoes underneath this like lulu shorts but besides the point i'm on my way to get my mom right now because i'm taking her to an appointment and i brought my book to read while she's in her little appointment and um yeah she needed somebody to drive her so i'm driving her and um yeah that's pretty much it today's like more of a slow day for me because um, I'm filming that skincare routine today, and I have more content that's due tomorrow, but it's currently pouring. Um, it cleared for a little bit, but it's raining a lot, so I'm gonna try and wait for the more clear weather, but that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I only read two chapters. Her appointment didn't take long at all, but here is my outfit for a better look. I don't know, I think that that's water I just got on it, but. Um, yeah, it's just shorts and then this long sleeve long sweatshirt thing is from Target actually last year. I got them in a couple different colors and they're just really good and they have this slit right here. If they still have them, I'll try and link them for you guys. My hair is curling up because it's so humid outside. And yeah, it's just like a little simple sporty outfit. Sitting on the couch for a second. Okay, I'm gonna relax on the couch for like three minutes. I have a Zoom meeting at four o'clock um, that I need to be on. And then after that, I'm gonna film my nighttime skincare and then edit the video and get it up for you guys today. This whole time I thought that my meeting was today and it's literally tomorrow. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do my nighttime routine right now and finish the video so I can upload it. Okay, last time I ever wait until the day of to record a video that I need to go up that day. Our air conditioning is fixed, thank the Lord. I'm actually like cold right now and I'm like okay with it. Like I'm not gonna turn up there. So I'm gonna make dinner. My hair is a freaking mess. Freaking complaining. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make dinner. Have it ready for Colin when he gets home. And finally uploaded the video, got my reel up. Really did get a lot of stuff done today. I knew I was vlogging for a reason. You guys, I'm so close to being done with this book. I've got less than 100 pages left, there's a lot going on, so now I'm reading this one slow too. But holy crap, I need you guys to stop what you're doing, like right now. Don't, don't do anything else except for log on to amazon.com backslash Bianca Franco because that's my storefront and buy the book my lovely wife i'm gonna put you guys on your stand in a second but holy crap my lovely wife is on verity's level i think my favorites are verity my lovely wife and then the wife between us they're like all stacked like very staggered very close in ranking but holy crap you guys i'm not even pulling your leg when i tell you that this book is so good like if you're gonna read a book and you've already read Verity, you're gonna order My Lovely Wife right now because the end of this book, the like, closer I'm getting to the end, it's just like shocking. Like it's so good. Perfect thriller for the week of Halloween. Let me just tell you. My dad's birthday is also today, so I just wanted to like verbalize happy birthday to the man who gave me a little sister. We love you. A good, genuine Scorpio. You know, um, I know people have mixed feelings about Scorpios it's like a thing in the zodiac sign community but my dad's like a great guy so love him so much 
Here's our HelloFresh meal tonight. Colin's home from work. So we started this show called The Barbarians and it's dubbed in English. I can't say I love when shows do that. Actually, this is the first show I've watched like that because I told myself I couldn't watch the other ones. But it's pretty good. So we're watching that. And we're gonna eat another muffin because I made muffins the other night. And again, did I show that though? Like, I don't remember. But I made muffins the other night again and so we're gonna eat some more. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning. I'm wearing my set active set in Stardust today. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're going out to dinner with my dad and everyone, Henley, everybody tonight. I'm so excited. This morning I'm going to Orange Theory. I'm so excited. But I slept so good because it was cold, finally. So, anyways, I'm going to do the morning quote for you guys. My story. Ended up finishing my lovely wife last night. So good. I'm so glad I finished it. But, um, yeah. So, remember towards the beginning of this vlog, I think it was Monday and I was shooting for a brand. Well, the more I looked at the pictures I took, the more I hated them. So, I just reshot one and then now I need to completely do the next one. But I think I'm going to do stories next in between that and shooting. But today is really busy. I'm doing a takeover on a podcast Instagram. It's called My Point of View Podcast, but I was on their podcast. Or I was on, her name's Camilla. I was on her podcast last Monday. And now I'm doing an Instagram takeover. So I'm doing that, shooting for this brand. I have a call at four. We're going to dinner with my dad at 6.30 for his birthday. And there's just a lot going on right now. There's also a tropical storm outside, so. Yeah, crazy. But anyways, I'm just busy here trying to get all this stuff done. Plus Colin needs me to come pick him up later because he won't be at his car and he needs his car. So there's just a lot going on today and I'm a little overwhelmed. But shame on me for leaving this until the last minute. But it's starting to clear up a little bit. So that's why I started shooting and I was gonna do it yesterday, but it was storming. So I ended up washing my hair today and um, planning to shoot it today. So. Luckily, my manager, Madeline, lives in LA and she's three hours behind me, so 8 o'clock my time is 5 o'clock her time, so I have till 8 o'clock to submit my stuff. Here's my setup. I had to change into workout clothes. Alexa, pause. Changed into my Canyon set from Set Active, and yeah. Alrighty, so now I changed. I think I'm going to wear this to dinner tonight for my dad's birthday. Um, I am outfit repeating because I haven't bought fall clothes really yet. Um, but this is from Urban, it's super, um, it's just a good basic to have. I always try and buy basics, pro tip, because I do outfit repeat, like no shame. I think it's very unrealistic to have new clothes all the time, especially for me and my income. And I'm 23, I don't have like a $100,000 salary where I can just go buy a new sweater whenever I feel like it, you know? So anyways, and then my jeans are from Cotton On and Cotton On honestly has some of my favorite jeans here. I'll like give you guys a full view because they're inexpensive and they're like, these are pretty thin, um, which is good because it's kind of hot out today anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're just good jeans for the price in my opinion so super simple outfit today and then i did a bra tuck with one of my free people bralettes so a few tips for you i'm also making some vegetable um and soba noodle stir fry kit situation um like all over the place i'm gonna turn on the light i love the lights underneath here you guys have no idea so anyways i'm gonna make this if you've never tried it you should try their stir fry kits because they're so 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 good, can't say enough good things. so I'm not stressed out when it's time to go eat with my family and I'm like not done with my work because I do that sometimes. Colin's home, so now we're getting ready to leave for dinner. Today has been 
something else. The past two days for me have just been really busy. So anyway, I just threw on a little jacket thing over my sweater, but it's so, so hot outside. So I'm probably am gonna end up taking it off. We're going to Carabas for my dad's birthday dinner. So, and we need to leave like right now. Hobby is pelotoning with Colin. My butt just has to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> the day after Colin peloton for the first time, he messaged me while he was at work and he said, No, while he was at the gym. At the gym he yeah. said, All caps, babe, my ass cheeks hurt. Yeah, they felt like they were bruised. I was just sitting on them and I was like, God, this is not good. <laughs> so, anyway, I feel like that only happens like the first time you peloton and then. After that, you're good. But I didn't vlog anything last night when we went out to eat for my dad's birthday. And I would just like to complain because Carabas has been out of chicken parmesan. A lot lately. Yeah. What the heck? What? They we were, went for the chicken parmesan. No, it's like, it's that location though. Every time I go to that location, they're out. It even happened to me last Christmas Eve. And then every time I go to the location with Colin's family, which is a different one, they always have it. So I feel like that one just never has chicken parm. But anyways, I'll insert some clips on the screen here while I'm talking of Henley because she's getting so big. And <laughs> I posted the cutest picture of her and Colin on my Instagram story if you guys saw it. But she just has the chubbiest cheeks. She's just a chunky monster. And also it was funny because I was holding her for like a pretty much majority of the dinner. And whenever I would go and well, Tara had her kind of when we started eating and then she handed her back to me towards the end. And when I would take a bite of food and put it up to my mouth, she would be like, like opening her yeah. mouth to try and eat it. It was the funniest thing. She's just the girl loves food. But that's like a Franco thing. Yes, Franco's really love the food. Which one are you taking? Sure, any baby likes food. Carnival candy. Okay. Making sure it wasn't my mimosa. No, don't worry. It's not like mimosa. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we just had a good time. But the restaurant did not have air conditioning on or something, so I was just sweating and Tara was sweating. And were you sweating? No. Oh, maybe it was just because we, we were holding Henley and she's heavy. I don't know. But, oh man, it was just a sweaty time. So, anyway, we're going to head down to our apartment gym in Peloton. See if they have the mirror up and working yet. The mirror's back up on the wall. And you control it from there. Mm. Guide. Ooh. We got this far last time. Yeah, and, and look, it still has this. We're just gonna Peloton. And they're playing the strangest music in here. The sun rise in the morning in here is great. Here's the ride Colin chose for today's ride. Colin loves Alex. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. Workout complete. And we are out of greens. And we have to go to our old apartment and hand our keys in and um, kind of clean it up a little bit. So that's what we're doing. We just got Smoothie King. Um, if you are new here, high intensity veggie mango. Stevia sweetened. So good. Paleo protein. It is good. She's great. So we're off to the old apartment. We've pushed this off. It's and been a while. Now we have two days left. So technically, we're, we haven't pushed it off as much as we usually would have. Usually, we would have been in there the day our lease ends. <laughs> Adulting. Okay, I forgot my vlog camera, so I'm filming on my phone. But, and I need to take my Poshmark boxes. But the apartment. It's completely empty. We're done. We've cleaned. And there's that tree I bought a long time ago <laughs> that completely died. Um, yeah, we're done. It's over. We're saying goodbye, turning in our keys. Say bye. Monumental moment. 
First apartment ever over. My lips are so chopped, it burns. We're done with it. We've officially dropped off our keys and all of our stuff in our old internet box and everything. And now we are on our way to Chipotle to have a little lunch date outside. It's so nice outside. It's 66 and sunny. Yesterday it was literally like hurricaning. I'm not even kidding. At our lunch date, they gave us free queso. And we're sitting outside by this pond area. Super nice. Pond area. I mean fountain. What am I saying? to do some computer work and I might start my book. What time is it? I've got like two more hours before I need to start getting ready. So, actually a little less than that. So, it's two, what time is it right now? Oh my God, no, it's 4.30. That's crazy, it's already 4.30. So, anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and relax and do computer work. <sighs> Today was just a long day. All right, Kara's here because we're going to Maddie's dinner together. Hey. You wanna focus, there you are. Okay, here, let me show you my outfit. And then we're out of here. Not be late, but it's about to be the time to leave. Okay, I'm wearing this sweater, and I don't know about this trend, so everyone comment down below. Everyone's been wearing like turtleneck things, mock necks underneath their sweaters, so I put a cream one underneath my sweater. We'll see how it goes. And then I'm wearing these boots. They're from the brand Seychelles, but they're great. So yeah, that's the fit. Kara's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> Say, well, you were, you, but you were in my first video. Are you literally yeah, kidding? No, I'm I'm not, literally Wait, not guys, not Maddie was in my first YouTube video ever, and it's her birthday. So tell her happy birthday. Cheers. Give me a little cheers. Cute. This is everyone else. We're social distance. Kara doesn't drink, but we love her. <laughs> okay. This is, you know, I got Pinot Grigio, guys. I'm doing so well. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Happy birthday. Wish for a boyfriend. Birthday to you. Oh wow, we're all happy. happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Wish for a boyfriend. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, we just left dinner on the way home. Also, I just met a subscriber, Carla in the parking garage. It was a parking lot, but it is a parking deck. And it was very nice to meet you. I asked her if she wanted to be on the vlog, but I totally understand. I said I'd put her in in spirit. So it was very nice to meet you. Thanks for watching my videos. And I, because of COVID, I haven't met one of you guys in a very long time, so that was very fun for me. Anyway, we're on the way home. I'm back home, so I'm going to end the vlog so I can start a weekend of my life tomorrow morning. But thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, and stick around. But I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Thank you so much again. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.